so today I have one sewing make to share with you and it is a shirt that is kind of an old pattern well I think it is an old pattern and I've made it several times it is a button-down shirt I have shown um, one of these shirts that I made before in, a, in another video but I decided to make another one so I wanted to share it with you and this is new look 6407 and this is like my tried and true pattern so when I want a button-down shirt this is the pattern that I go to and I saw this gingham fabric in Hobby Lobby and because I just love gingham I just had to get it it's red white and blue so I think they're putting it out or it was put out probably in you know in um, anticipation of the July 4th holiday but I grabbed it and made this shirt and I really really like it what I did um, different or the way I modified the pattern was I lengthened the shirt so um, it comes down a little bit lower than it does in the pattern and I did not add the cuffs on the sleeves and since the pattern um, the fabric the, the, has these checks in it it was kind of hard for me to get my darts in because I could not see the lines when I was trying to mark the darts into the fabric so what I did was I pin marked and what that involved was while the pattern piece was on top of the fabric I just took pins and lined it through the triangles and then I just took a marker and wrote on top of the pins and in between the pins flipped the fabric over and made sure I got both sides that same way and then once I removed the pins you could see where the darts were supposed to be if I was able to use the marking or tracing paper so I, that was something that um, I tried for the first time and it worked so I was like oh pretty cool so yeah this is it I actually love this shirt I love it love it love it so much and I will show you what it looks like on <laughs> That is the only make that I have to share with you today. I'm not really counting the skirt in the video, although I made that also, and that is Butterick 5566. But that is a skirt that I showed before in a prior video, and I'll link it above in a card. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about that skirt, you'll be able to click on that video. And yeah, that is all that I have for you today. I do want to leave you with a love share. So my love share for today is vehicles owned by the United States Postal Service do not bear license plates I never even noticed so I thought that was interesting something I learned recently and I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time